Hello everybody, this is my LEGO modification for previously released LEGO sets based off of Star Wars Episode 8 The Last Jedi. Before I begin this video, I'd like to say that the purpose of this modification is not to be as accurate as possible, nor criticize the LEGO group's efforts, but rather use their existing set as the foundation for a new design. If you have not watched the film, there will be spoilers, though at this point in time, it's possible that you already know everything about everything. But better safe than sorry, so let's get into it. The sets I used are 75216 Snoke's Throne Room and 75225 Elite Praetorian Guard Battle Pack, but mostly Snoke's Throne Room since I only used the minifigures from the Battle Pack set. And here it is, my own design for Snoke's Throne Room. I decided to try to keep the original set as intact as possible, while also adding my own details. So let's begin. The elevator for the most part is exactly the same, aside from a bit of a crooked sticker that gives the impression that Kylo Ren smashed his helmet into the wall. The only difference is this wall, which connects these pillars to the elevator. I connected the pillars with smooth tiles and plates. Then I used the Technic function within the pillars to link the elevator to the platform. It took some reinforcing, but it worked. Also, the hidden storage compartments are still functional, so you can still store items within. Just getting you a better look. Now I'll show you how this connects to the main platform. So whereas on this right side of Snoke's throne, I used uh, just regular bricks to kind of smooth and flatten it out. On this side, I actually use Technic compatible bricks. And so that allows me to connect this little elevator to the main platform. Again, the elevator is just the same as it was when it was built with a slight um, modification to the bottom just to kind of give it that nice uh, curved look. But anyway, so you could still connect it. You'd first connect this, and then you connect the main platform. Now we go to the second part of the connection. The second part actually involves this piece with the Oculus. Again, using Technic compatible bricks. Pretty simple to make. And then this little part is exposed, so you can actually attach it onto these exposed studs over here. And then, instead of having regular black Technic bins, you just get a few light gray studs, as you see on the other side, so that when you push this down, all you have to do is just slide it up against it. And yeah, works pretty well. By removing this part of the build, I can actually show you how this part, the main throne platform, actually connects with um, bricks, actually. So this is more or less the original set. It is a bit modified around the edges, again, to kind of give a different, distinct look. And then here's the platform, just kind of from the upper angle. So really, all you do is just snap this in place. And then this brick is what holds it all together. Really nice, very easy to carry around. So using curved plates, much like what you see on uh, bigger um, ships and other vehicles, I was able to extend the throne to make this structure and this little curtain piece. So that allows for a little more room and a little more um, function as far as uh, creativity goes. Due to my shortage on large large red bricks, I was only able to build this one wall. I did attempt to build more, like using like walled curtains, using this kind of function, but it just kind of, yeah, it just kind of locked like the consistency I was looking for. Also, I do think that the lack of a red wall really allows for a Praetorian guard to really stand out in against the background so when it's on display you can really see that pop the function from the original lego set 
that allows Snoke to bring Rey forward with the Force still works. You know, when he's like, come closer, child. Closer, I said. So all it took was just a little bit of extension. So the place where usually the red ball would go, I added another Technic connector so I could extend this piece. And then used a another... Whoop. <laughs> this is just not my best review. Anyway, so using this uh, cone piece, you can actually connect it to the Technic bar, allowing that reach and also allowing the red knob, which is still so prominent when it comes to using this feature. I should also mention the Oculus was raised by a brick to get the height accuracy, and a black hole with a stud allows me to enlarge the stars, kind of like what we see in the movie. In addition to the already still rotating throne and also being able to be lifted out of it, I also added another function. So you can actually take the Skywalker lightsaber and you can Darth Maul Snoke reenacting that scene when, to the shock of many fans, he was killed. I was surprised too. Not angry about it. Just surprised. All it takes is just setting the legs in place and leaning the torso attachment back as far as you can so it can just uh, gently rest on it. Kind of hard to see if you're not paying attention. Also, the main platform is large enough to have the Praetorian guards surround Ray and Ren. And there's that small section of the floor so Ray can knock the guard off the platform. To make it function, all you have to do is move this plate down because it kind of acts as a lock, and Bob's your uncle. Finally, I saved the best feature for last. You can pick the set up, and it stays together. Very sturdy, very portable, and very nice to slide onto a shelf. For the minifigures, the standard figures would all be included, including the Stormtrooper, since I just say that he's the Stormtrooper who actually has the uh, pleasure of putting the handcuffs on Ray because I guess that's a very important part in the movie. But there are a few characters that I did want to focus on. I like to differentiate my minifigures lightsabers, so Ray has a simple black stud on the bottom to represent Anakin's lightsaber. Since Andy Serkis, who filled the role of Supreme Leader Snoke, also filled the role of Gollum from the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movies, I decided to give him a one ring piece. And you position it just right. These one rings each have like a little uh, black indent. Come on, just get that fixed. You Okay, there we go. That little indent can represent the black crystal on his ring. But whatever floats your boat. I just thought it was a kind of funny little Easter egg. I think this is like his um, third minifigure portrayal. The third one being Ulysses Clow from... Uh, Lego Marvel's Black Panther. And finally, this elite Praetorian Guard has a double-sided weapon that can actually function as two weapons when you separate them in the center. I used a piece I refer to as the pin stud piece. So now you can have two weapons, but yeah, this was the piece that I used. Again, pin stud piece. Stick it in. Then you just position his arms just right. Make sure the blades are facing opposite directions because that's a very important movie detail. And voila! Double-sided, which can split into a two-bladed weapon. And that is it for Snoke's throne room. Hope that you enjoyed the build and maybe found some inspiration or ideas from uh, watching this video. Now, I'm just going to get this out of the way. I liked The Last Jedi. The more I watch it, the more I like it. It was different, and sure there were some things different than I expected, but it was good. Strike me down in anger, and I'll always be with you. You will try! <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this just a force projection? Your lightsaber was green when you tried to kill me. No, I could just catch lightsabers with the force now, and also force teleport. The lightsaber was the illusion. See you around, kid. What the? So now I'm here, which is why you're our only hope.
Um, okay. Fade into the force. Skywalker, Neville told you what happened to the last Jedi. Uh, Kylo Ren killed him? No, I am the last Jedi. Uh, my brain hurts. This is a lot of information to take in. <laughs> Really? You think just because you were in my presence receiving only two lessons, you never learned the last one? You can call yourself a Jedi? But I am the last Jedi. Not yet. <sighs> it's treason, then. <sighs> Wait, what are you- I'm on the dark side now. Serving as an apprentice to Ben, huh? Apprentice? Force teleport. What is thy bidding, my master? What? The time has come. Execute Order 67. What's Order 67? Finish. We're Order 66. Start it. <laughs> this is for you, Grandfather. What do we do? Take that. It's not as Force projected as it was before. I'll just hurry and summon my other lightsaber using the Force. Should've done that years ago. I don't have any skills with a lightsaber. Yeah, well, neither did Ray. And look where she's at. I've got bad feelings about this. Well, that escalated quickly. Well, happy building. And may the Force be with you.